that's me, Mark with Veg. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done an update. Uh, I temporarily um, moved up to LA uh, for a job up there. So I'm down for the weekend uh, where our demo hub is. I'm gonna be taking the buddies up uh, to LA with me and replanting one or two of them. Uh, so I'll still be able to do updates from up there over the next month or so. Um, but we just got a new package of supplies for our hub and I came back and looks like I have some work to do. Our lemon cucumber is finally dead. Um, some of this uh, romaine got really long and lanky. So what I'm going to do right now, and I'll speed it up, is I'm just going to show you what I do when I clean out everything. So uh, I have this bucket that I'm sitting on that I kind of throw everything into. We give you guys a big paper bag that works also. Um, so I'm just going to clean it up, get it ready for more seats. So we got it all cleaned up, all replanted. We moved everything out of the way to either these lower rows or these back rows. Now we have this top row that's planted, this top row, oh, there we are, this top row that's planted. And then our biggest plant so far on the garden or right now is this pepper over here. So this pepper has taken up a lot of space, but we have it as far off to the side as possible. And when I looked at it, <clears throat> I saw these big, you can see a huge hole. So normally uh, a caterpillar won't leave just a massive random hole like that. And then I don't see any caterpillar droppings below. This could be caterpillars, but I don't think it is because I turn the leaf over, don't see anything, no droppings. So the only other thing that can make a dent that big without leaving a trace is a grasshopper. And you can barely see this one. See this little one in here? You can see a baby grasshopper right there. So that means a big one is somewhere around if that tiny one is there. So we're gonna use this garlic uh, soap spray. We're actually gonna spray this one directly. It's not gonna kill it. It's just gonna piss it off, have it be not as happy. So we wanna keep the caterpillars away from the, or er, caterpillars, the grasshoppers away from the gardens. You can see how much damage they can do. Um, besides caterpillars, grasshoppers are definitely the culprits for a lot of devastation in a veggie garden. So hopefully this will help um, get rid of that small one at least. Sorry, I'm shaking everywhere because I'm trying to spray at the same time. Um, again, this is just a homemade remedy, just some soap and some garlic mixed up with water, hopefully. Um, oh shoot, actually, look what I just found. As I was saying that, here is a massive caterpillar. Holy crap, check this guy out. So I didn't see any dropping, so I suspected a grasshopper, which we saw a small one of. And then all of a sudden, I see this big guy right here. So this garlic spray is gonna do nothing to this caterpillar. We actually have to remove it. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna take the stem off. And there you go, this thing is just munching munching through that leaf. Um, so again, I didn't know where the uh, where the droppings were, so I thought grasshopper. There you go, you never know. So now we're gonna spray with the BT, the Monterey BT, and that actually will kill these guys. I'm gonna throw this one in the trash um, so he's far away from the garden. Um, but if there's one, there's surely more or some smaller ones as well. Um, so you can never be too too safe. So again, we're going to spray for some grasshoppers. And ideally, you're not doing this in the middle of the day. Um, but I'm leaving soon to go back up to LA. So I'm going to. And we're going to spray some BT 
as well. Now typically the grass or the caterpillars will be under the leaves. So if you can spray under the leaves, um, there we go. So hopefully that does some sort of uh, prevention, at least for a little bit until I come back down. Um, again, that's our biggest, nicest plant right now. You can see all, uh, all of the peppers in here are pretty awesome. Uh, so I don't want to lose any. Uh, really happy with the production so far. Um, other than that, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Get some Monterey BT spray in the link in your email for situations like this. All right, guys, I'll see you up in LA.